Hey everybody, it's Craig Victor here, and I'm excited to announce that Capture One 12 is now available. In this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the new features, and I'm also gonna let you have a look at the new user interface. All right, you'll notice it looks a little bit different. It seems like there's more room for the image right here, as you can see. And I'm gonna go left to right, and we'll look at some of the different columns and the different tools. So we're gonna start at the upper left. Now this is your library. This is where you would manage all of your images in Capture One. Now if I click over here, you can see that I've minimized all of these windows. So you can do that, and you can also move these around. So if I want to drag this down, so if you find that you're using certain tools in Capture One, you can put them right at the top, and then you can minimize anything else that you're not using. And you can see here that it's responding rather quickly. So it seems like a speedier user interface as well. Here you can see that we have our base characteristics at the top, our white balance, our color balance, our color editor, and again, we can make adjustments to our white balance. If we've shot in raw, you can choose these presets here, or you can also adjust using these sliders. And then if you double click on any of the sliders, it'll go back to where you were. Also, this backwards arrow, if you click on that, that will reset any adjustments you make if you feel like you wanna go back. And then you can see here, this is a different icon at the top. Now it looks like a lens, and this is for your lens corrections, this tab right here. And here, you'll notice something different. We can create some layers, but we can also use a new tool called Luminosity Masking, and it covers the Luma range. So what we'll do is we'll create a new layer, and I'll show you how this works. So if we come over here, and we can right-click, I'm gonna say New Filled Layer. Now you can see this is in red. If you don't see it in red, just hit the M key on your keyboard. That's the masking tool. So now we can see what parts of this image are masked. So what we can do, if we come up to Luma range and we click on this, we can choose a specific Luma range that we wanna target and make adjustments to. So a good example would be if you had a brighter sky and you wanted to bring that sky down and you didn't wanna create a complicated mask, you would just click on this tool and now you would adjust this slider. So this is gonna choose the brightest areas of the image and we can pinpoint those areas. So just by sliding, you could see that it's highlighted most of the white parts there with the snow and a little bit of the sky. Now this is the fall off. So if we wanted to make it a little more gradual, we'd go left. If we want it to be a little tighter to those areas, we could just drag that as well to the right. Same with this one here. And then if we wanted to, we could just click on this and we could move this range around too. So it's quite flexible. So if you're looking for a way to just mask out the brightest areas of an image, this is a perfect way to do that. So you can see we've created that mask now. So if I say apply, now what I can do is I can just take the exposure down on those brighter areas. And you can see now that I've done that, I'm gonna hit the M key and the mask is gone. But it's an easy way to make some luminosity adjustments. It's a very fast way to mask. So that's one of the new features. And also there's radial gradients. What I'm gonna do is I'll create tutorials for some of these new features going forward. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get those updates. Now also too, let's continue with some of these tools here. There's different ways to access them. You have your tool tabs on the upper left right here. You have some cursor controls in the center. And then also you have some controls in the upper right. Now all of these things, for example, if I wanted to move this window, I could move this so that the images are below this image. There's a lot of configurable options with Capture One 12. Anyway, I wanted to just show you the user interface. I wanted to mention that one new tool. And like I said, in future videos, I'm gonna go through each of these tools in more detail and create in-depth tutorials. Anyway, if you wanna download a free 30-day trial of Capture One 12, there's a link just below this video in the description box where you can download your free 30-day trial. If you decide it's right for you and you want to upgrade or purchase Capture 112, I have a coupon code that will save you 10%. It's in the description box below. It's AMB Craig, and that will save you 10% on checkout. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.